We're talking hydrology. We're looking at the river system, and in particular, we're looking at a certain term that is important to understand when looking at drainage basins, or catchment areas, or watersheds, or where the water is going to fall from the rain, from precip, from the atmosphere, and where's it going to go once it hits the surface. This is called a watershed divide. This is the Earth Science Classroom. Now this divide could be called a watershed divide, or a drainage basin divide, or a catchment area divide. But the divide, it means that it's going to separate two things. And in this case, it's going to separate a watershed from a different watershed, or two or three different catchment areas, or drainage basins. And this dashed line on the diagram is going to show you where the divide would be in this situation, this diagram, where it's going to separate the different drainage basins that are shown on this diagram and it's usually at the highest elevation point usually in a high orogenic mountain range or a high elevation depends on the landscape and it's clearer in mountains versus a flatter landscape but you definitely have a separation of watersheds based on where this divide is so when the water is going to fall from the atmosphere as any kind of precip it's going to flow a certain way based on this divide. It's going to flow into one drainage basin or the other based on the elevation, the gradient, and the location of this divide. Now the US of A have a fantastic example demonstrating the awe-inspiring beauty of this natural divide that in America they call the Continental Divide. This is a line or divide geographic location along the lower 48 also extends into Mexico and also into Canada and Alaska but in the lower 48 of the United States it has this location going through mostly the Rocky Mountains now this black line on the map is showing you where the divide is now this is dividing the continents waterways and drainage basins and river systems between the ones on the west coast or west of this black line this divide is going to flow into the Pacific or even the Gulf of California, like the Colorado does, or on the other side, the eastern and midwest sections of the United States, any rivers that form on the east side of this black line, this divide, will flow into either the Gulf of Mexico, which eventually turns into the Caribbean Sea and the Atlantic Ocean, or directly into the Atlantic Ocean, or maybe into one of the Great Lakes, which again might flow through the river systems into the Atlantic Ocean. So this divide across the Rocky Mountains is going to divide which direction the water is going to flow, either to the, towards the west, Pacific, or towards the east, Atlantic, or Gulf of Mexico. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like it, please subscribe and maybe hit the like button. If you like more on this content, please check out my channel, which has all these videos on Earth Science.